In Pittsburgh, this is Channel 11, the news station. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Cochran. In the news today, Detroit's calling back some of those laid-off workers, and another Nixon cabinet member has entered a guilty plea. But at the top of today's news, the National Weather Service has just issued a flash flood watch for all of western Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. except the very extreme northern section, and that would include Erie County. That watch is going to remain in effect over the next 24 hours. It, of course, mm -hmm. is all the result of those heavy rains that caused massive traffic tie-ups this morning. Plenty of fender-bender accidents, but no serious injuries have been reported. We'll have a full weather report just a little bit later in the program. Eleanor? In news from overseas, refugees are streaming out of the battered South Vietnamese town of Da Tiang, just outside of Saigon, after communist tanks and infantry overran government positions in that city. It was the fifth district capital to fall this week. Reports reaching Saigon say that at least 200 civilians were killed in the overnight rocket and mortar attack. Washington believes that the communists have been launching a major offensive in South Vietnam. However, they just aren't sure how big it is. Well, the Ford administration won a partial victory yesterday when the Senate Foreign Relations Committee approved a compromise $125 million authorization, and that, of course, is for military aid to Cambodia. The victory came in the Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee. Four senators, Javits of New York, Case of New Jersey, Scott of Pennsylvania, and McGee of Wyoming, voted in favor of the aid. Humphrey, Church, and McGovern voted against it. The Ford administration actually expected to lose this subcommittee vote by 5 to 2. So the administration was surprised, and so was the subcommittee chairman, Hubert Humphrey. I don't think the administration did a thing. I think uh, that uh, that changed the vote. I think that uh, the senators were that voted, uh, the four that voted as they did, uh, felt right, uh, very sincerely that uh, they should give this much extra time in the hopes that something might work out. It was a uh, one-shot proposition, and they made it very clear. Does the if I thought it was going to give any extra, that the extra time would have helped, I would have voted likewise. I just don't think it's going to help. I think we'll be right back where we were, uh, only maybe with more trouble. And today, a House Foreign Affairs Subcommittee is going to attempt to authorize Cambodian aid for three months, one month at a time. That's expected to be defeated. Men's watches have progressed from stem winding to self winding. And now the ultimate men's watch, the LED quartz electronic. This is the magnificent Kentronics LED quartz. Push this button for bright instant time. Push this button, you can read the date. Push both buttons and tick off the seconds. This incredible watch regularly sells for $250, but for just three days, it's on sale for $149.95 at Gimbel's. Remember, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only. Something is going to happen to you tonight. Your life will never be the same because... Miraculous things happen at the Morris Cerullo Crusade. It could change your life. Morris Cerullo has that ability to care for people because God has put it inside him. And he really does care about you. Well, Morris Cerullo is right down in my level. He relates to me in the place where I sit in my problems. It's really exciting because... More thrills. He can really reach a lot of people. He cares about me personally. I think you, more thrill really gives off a lot of love and affection. Everybody needs a little love and affection. Morris Cerullo has talked to millions of people at crusades all over the world. He really cares what happens to you. See Morris Cerullo in person at the Morris Cerullo Crusade, March 17th through 21st at the Soldiers and Sailors Auditorium. Thrift Drug Stores are now celebrating old-fashioned days with a complete lineup of your favorite health and beauty aids, spring cleaning aids, and household sundries. Get big savings like these. Your favorite toothpaste, your choice, 79 cents each. Your favorite mouthwash, your choice, 99 cents each. For these and many more values, stop in at your nearby Thrift Drug Store and get old-fashioned bargains, old-fashioned prices, old-fashioned savings during Thrift Drug's old-fashioned days. 
Well, hold on to your pocketbook. Here we go again. West Penn Water has been granted another rate hike that will boost customers' bills almost 18 percent. The PUC granted the increase yesterday. It goes into effect immediately. West Penn has about 100,000 customers in the area. The increases will cost them just over $2.5 million. The Public Utility Commission, holding public hearings on Bell telephone rate increases, apparently wanted to have only partial public access to those hearings. Meredith Lewis has more on that story. The Public Utility Commission traditionally regulates utility companies for the public good, convenience, and necessity. PUC commissioners in recent years have tried to make these hearings more public by allowing television cameras inside to televise the proceedings. But this afternoon, examiner John Connolly barred Newswatch cameras, saying to televise these hearings would make a mockery of them. When reminded of the state's new sunshine law, Connolly abruptly suspended the hearings and called Harrisburg. Meanwhile, the PUC chief counsel in Harrisburg told Newswatch there was no legal ban against televised hearings. Harrisburg apparently told Connolly the same thing, but he was still angry. Put your, get your television cameras out. We can't film it? Uh-huh. Get we your can. television cameras. Whose decision is that? Uh-huh. Whose decision is that? I said get your thing and bring them in. Well, this isn't the hearing room here. Wait a minute. I know. Wait a minute. Camera. Camera. Sir, this isn't the hearing room here. All right. Come, you all, you can take pictures. Come in. All of you. We can come in. Yes. During these hearings, the PUC in Harrisburg granted Bell Telephone a $47.5 million increase for long-distance phone calls made inside the state. To the consumer, it basically means that his intrastate toll calls in total will go up. But we are introducing one-minute minimum toll calls instead of three-minute minimums. So he can actually end up in reducing the cost to him by keeping his calls to one minute instead of the three minutes. The state attorneys say they will file an injunction against the $47.5 million increase, claiming that Bell failed to give proper notice. Unemployment in Pennsylvania soared to the highest point in 14 years during February. The jobless rolls were up 30,000, and that means that 461,000 workers were off the job last month. The percentage figure stands at 8.4 percent, and that's up from 7.7 the month before. The big three automakers announced some good news in Detroit by recalling 11,000 workers this week. Mike Jackson has a report. It's November, the problem was too many cars. They were stored all around Detroit in virtually every available open space, including an airport. New car purchases declined, and the car makers stopped producing. The auto companies offered rebates. Most of the oversupply was sold, and now the manufacturers are back at work making cars. Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors are gearing up for the traditional spring rush. The rebates have ended, which may slow sales, but the companies feel Americans are gaining confidence in the economy and will now pay the price for a new car. Well, we're quite optimistic. We predict uh, continuing improvement, particularly through the spring, that is April, May, and June. Uh, when normally the car business uh, does have a seasonal lift, uh, and we certainly hope that it takes place this year. Despite the auto company's optimism, many workers fear that once another inventory is built up, the assembly lines will stop again. And the companies have made it clear they won't make cars unless they can sell them. Mike Jackson, NBC News, Detroit. The early March automobile sales report to be released tomorrow is expected to be encouraging. Betty Ford is feeling much better. She plans to accompany the president to Palm Springs for the Easter holidays. The first lady has been bedded down with a painful attack of arthritis in her back and neck. She's been receiving hot packs and massages since the trouble flared up last Friday. Well, if you remember, it was just yesterday that we reported about Martha Mitchell and her announced plan to retire from public view. Already, she is back in the spotlight, pointing accusing fingers at everyone from her estranged husband to the president. Martha said the former attorney general ter told her he would never spend a day in jail, and he made the statement months before he was even indicted. He said after a meeting with H.R. Haldeman and John Ehrlichman that, quote, we have figured out a way we don't have to go to jail, end quote. Mrs. Mitchell predicts President Ford will pardon uh, all three former Nixon aides, adding that we have a double standard for justice in this country, and that's just too bad. 
A veteran newsman has to wrestle with a lot of strange stories. NBC reporter Ray Duncan admits his latest assignment was really a struggle. Robert and Lawrence Jeffrey are brothers, and their fondness for the sport, sometimes called wrist wrestling, has spread like an epidemic among both their families. It has even infected others in the area, including gallant boyfriends of family members. Things have gone so far here that a game called Showdown, invented and marketed from this house, has special pads to cushion elbows during combat. The magnetized bracelets are to end all arguments about touching the wrist down, for when it touches, it picks up metal. The latest family invention just out is an arm wrestling machine. Uh, it, it differs in the fact that we have electronic equipment which is used to decide the winner. Should your opponent bring you down and maybe take you down to three, and then, and then he doesn't finish you off, so you, you have to come back. And when you come back and you come down and you score, you may score five for your team. But, it, but he gets three points for uh, the team. My brother Larry will now help me demonstrate how the table works. Larry? The leg wrap around the table for leverage is legal. and the flashing, whirling light. How I learned to hate that sight and that sound. I'm never going back in there again. Ray Duncan, NBC News. Want to wrist wrestle after the show? No, I'll let them wrestle the way they want and I'll wrestle the way I want, okay? <laughs> All right. In sports now, the Pirates are on their way to St. Petersburg today to take on the St. Louis Cards. The Bucks dropped one 7-5 to five to the Phillies yesterday, but the big disappointment was the fact that Steve Blass, who of course is trying very hard to make a comeback, ended out three runs without a hit. And the Penguins go back in action tonight. They'll face the Boston Bruins at the arena. Tonight's game's a sellout, just like Saturday's big win against the Philadelphia Flyers. Well, it is that time of the week again to start thinking about filling the food basket. So here's Bob James on Inflation Buster with some of the week's best buys. Poultry represents this week's top food buy. Nine poultry items ranging from turkey drumsticks to cut up whole fryers, small size turkeys make up that best buy list. Now here they are on a cost per serving basis as compiled by Larry Rubright, the area marketing agent for the Penn State Extension Service. Heading the best buy list, two types of turkey drumsticks, whole frying chickens, and fryer breasts. The best beef buys are ground beef, beef liver, ground chuck, and ground round, that last coming in at 25 cents per serving. Topping the fish values are perch fillets and turbot fillets. Rubright says there's no such thing this week as moderately priced fish items. Included in the top priced category are some perch, cod, and flounder. Now the best pork buys are fully cooked ham shank portion, the mixed pork chops, fully cooked regular hams, all pork city chicken, and quartered sliced loin chops. Rubright reports that all lamb is considered high. And in the fruit basket, apples, grapefruit, and oranges continue to be in best supply this week, while on the vegetable counter, the dry type yellow onions and potatoes are in best supply. Now if that doesn't do it for you this week, how about some rib steak at 85 cents per serving? And it's my turn to hand out the lottery information, and I'm going to try to do it very slowly. Every time okay. I do it, I get phone calls complaining that I'm reading the numbers too fast. So let's go. The double dollars lottery. Three, two, six, two, six, two. O eight one eight eight two four four eight six three. Three, and the doubler is four, and I think we will repeat these again at six o'clock tonight yeah. in case you didn't get them, so please don't call me, tune in at <laughs> six. We'll check more late news right after this time out. What does it cost to make ham more appealing? Omelets more delicious? Salads more attractive? 
The truth is, with Kling Peaches, it doesn't cost much. Because even though they're fancy, Kling Peaches are not expensive. You'll find that values of Kling Peaches are better than ever at Shop and Save Markets. Sears wants to save you money like nobody saves you money. And this week at Sears March Value Week Sale, you can prove it to yourself. Prove it in Sears Spring Fashions Department, where right now famous cling-along calf or knee-high shears are on sale for just 79 cents a pair. Save 20 cents. And little boys' knit pants and jackets are cut 20%. On sale for just $3.57 and $8.77. Till Saturday at Sears March Value Week Sale. Oh. And I ran out of your coffee. Tasted great today. Oh, Mrs. Olsen, you were right. He does like Folgers better. Folgers special blend makes a difference. It's a favorite in most of the country. Sure smells good. And Folgers is mountain grown, the richest kind. Delicious. Next fishing trip, I'm taking a bigger thermos. Oh, my. Famous Folgers mountain grown coffee. Taste it today. The Air Force has decided to drop its ROTC program at Duquesne University, and for a very good reason. It just isn't getting any interest from the students. As it stands, there are only eight junior students in the Air Force program at the Bluff School. The Air Force requires a minimum of 17. Uh, Air Force spokesmen say they won't have any trouble fitting in that program at another school from their waiting list of 150 colleges and universities. The midweek newsreel takes us to a benefit dinner, a snowball, and a softball banquet. The world's top women's slow pitch softball team was honored at this banquet at Frankel Supper Club. Trophies went to the Stan's auto sales team and for the second year in a row. Mardi Gras was the timely theme for the Resurrection Parish's annual snowball. Food, music, and fine entertainment rounded out the evening. Prominent people flock to Christopher's Restaurant for a gourmet dinner for the benefit of the Multiple Sclerosis Fund. Terry Hanratty was a special guest, but there are other faces you'll recognize, too. Get caught in that rain-triggered rush hour mess this morning? There was no way to avoid it, Bob. No, no matter which direction you were coming from, we had it. And it was all a product of some cloudy skies and some rain showers all around the state pretty much last night while temperatures sort of stayed stuck in the 30s. A southerly flow of mild and moist air is going to keep cloudy skies through Thursday this morning, as you probably learned. It was windy, wet, and a little on the chilly side. Right now, 43 degrees. Relative humidity, 86%. The barometer is at 29.75, and it's falling. And the wind's from the southwest at 22 miles an hour. That's about three times normal. As we mentioned earlier, a flash mm. flood watch is in effect for the next 24 hours for all of western Pennsylvania except the most northerly corner. That means that a threat does exist, so be ready for some quick action if there's any flooding or if a warning is issued. As for this afternoon, more rain and wind with a chance of thunder showers through tonight. And the rain could be heavy at times. High today in the low 50s. Low tonight down near 35. Now tomorrow, milder yet, but turning cooler during the afternoon. Showers throughout the day and a high in the low 50s. Turning to Ken Phillips' five-day forecast, looking ahead now to Friday, that should be a fair day with temperatures 10 to 15 degrees. Cooler than we're getting now. That would be somewhere in the high 30s. Saturday, cloudy, a few degrees warmer, and in the low 40s. And Sunday... Well, one way or the other, it's back to snow or rain. We'll have a high near 40 degrees. And, of course, Ken will have a complete radar, weather report, mm -hmm. and all that stuff tonight at 6 o'clock on Newswatch, and maybe he can do a turnaround on the weather. I wonder if anybody has enough umbrellas in their house. Never I've, have enough. I always them. end up being, I guess, the last to leave on a rainy day, and today I have a little child's umbrella with <laughs> me, a little itty-bitty one. Well, Wayne Van Dyne has solved this problem on a previous action line. Here he is now to explain. Howard Levine is in town, and that's encouraging news for 60 or more employees of media marketing, many of whom called me when the office is closed, and Mr. Levine fled the city without paying the 60 or so telephone solicitors who sold a coupon book over the telephone. 
Radio station WEDO and McKee Sports name had been used in the promotion, which in itself was legitimate, but Mr. Levine had fled to the Midwest owing WEDO, a local bank, and the 60 employees about $8,000. A number of bad checks were passed in the process. Action Line broke the story, then the consumer fraud squad of District Attorney John Hickton entered the picture, and after an exhaustive investigation by Allegheny County uh, Detective Bob Artman, Howard Levine was located in the Midwest, and he agreed to return voluntarily, and that is important, to straighten things out. He faces criminal charges for bad checks and theft of services, and he was arraigned before three separate magistrates locally. But with a willingness to correct his mistakes, perhaps Mr. Levine will provide a happy ending for all hopefully even for himself. We'll keep you posted. This is Action Line, Wayne Van Dyne. Leaders in our state legislature say that Governor Schaap's new budget's too skimpy on some needed programs, and it's just putting off a financial bind. The new 15-month budget was unveiled yesterday, and the Senate Republican floor leader, Richard Frame, says that it's a fake and only postpones money problems till the next fiscal year. Another Republican leader blasted the governor for having an already projected $400 million deficit for the year that will start in October of 1976. And even Democratic House Speaker Herbert Feynman is unhappy with the governor's new budget, but he says that he agrees with Schaap that there's only so much money provided by the state's current structure. We'll check on the rest of the day's developments right after this quick timeout. Kmart is your savings store, where your dollar buys you more. There's something for good sports at Kmart. Warm-up jackets. They're great for players or spectators. They have snap fronts, flannel lining, and slash pockets. They come in several good-looking colors, and they're sale priced at just $5 for the men's sizes and just $4 for the boys' sizes, today through Saturday at Kmart. Kmart is the saving place. Ship and shore, sensuous and sensible, silky and subtle, simple and super. Ship and shore shirts and blouses in Kiana for your kind of feeling, your way of looking, sensuous. Ship and shore blouses are available at all six Gimbel stores. I'd like to preface this next story by telling you the kind of news I hate to report as much as you hate to hear it. Man from the city's Brushton section, who was already on probation for the attempted rape of a six-year-old girl last year, has now been charged with trying to rape two other five-year-olds last month. 24-year-old David Martin of Tacoma Street was given a two-and-a-half-year probation sentence last June for beating the six-year-old with a brick and then trying to rape her. Now he has been charged with luring two five-year-old children into a house on Fram Street and trying to rape them too. Martin faces a hearing on the 17th of this month. More and more apartment cramped gardeners are filling their apartments with potted indoor plants, but there are some pitfalls that you'll want to avoid. Vicki Rogal reports. Plant sales have jumped over 300% in the last four years. And with that budding business, of course, there are a growing number of rip-off artists. Retailers who reap the benefits of the increased demand, but don't bother to protect the novice consumer. So I ask a man who's been selling and growing healthy plants for over 30 years how the consumer can protect himself. The first thing I would check for, of course, would be the underside of the leaves to make sure there's no insects. Secondly, the soil to make sure there's no insects in the soil. What does an insect look like? Some of them are so very small that you can put 8, 10, or 12 on the head of a pin. This would be red spider. Some of them are larger in clusters called mealy bug that look like white cotton, and especially on the underside of the leaves or in the V shape of the leaf and the main stalk. As a reputable dealer, how many people do you think are ripped off by uh, plant salesmen because they don't know what to look for? Uh, a lot of these people are, have come into the business uh, very suddenly because they, it is booming. They have no knowledge of plants, and uh, they have their plants shipped in. To them, it looks good, so they sell it to the customer as a good plant. And sometimes the plants aren't good. 
To protect yourself from price ripoffs, the best thing is to shop around and do some comparisons. Mr. Aldrich says prices can vary as much as two or three dollars on one plant. This is Vicki Rogal, Channel 11 Newswatch. Educate yourself before you purchase those indoor plants. Ex-Commerce Secretary Marie Stans pleaded guilty this morning to a five-count federal charge involving campaign financing violations. He's the third former member of the Nixon cabinet to plead guilty or to be convicted in connection with Watergate. Stans has served, uh, had served rather, as chairman of Nixon's re-election committee, and he set the mark of raising more money for a single campaign than any other fundraiser in history. Our reporter Jack Etzel was on a safari in the North Hills yesterday. He was looking for a creature that weighs 750 pounds. And near Bakerstown is believed to be the habitat of the creature. Since last November, at least 24 giant footprints have been discovered, many in this immediate area. Old abandoned mine shafts are the prime suspect hideout. You can call him or her what you want. Bigfoot, the monster, or even impossible. But plenty of people in the North Park area of North Hills think they've heard the cries of the beast at night, spotted its footprints from time to time on their property during the day. Such claims are made at times from coast to coast. This one, however, being in Allegheny County, is quickly becoming known as Awful Al. Tom Shields, who lives not far away, has been investigating such reports for 15 years and is the local Awful Al authority. We have uh, foot tracks, uh, ca plaster cast of the tracks. We've had some hair samples. We've had some stool samples, which prove very high in virility mm -hmm. for you know, virus and um, disease germs. You collect the stool from this thing, you believe. Uh, who has looked at this footprint now? And uh, what, if anything, has been determined? Well, in the Greensburg area, a couple doctors that belonged to the group down there, they looked at it. And they said, uh, with their professional uh, abilities, that it was uh, either if it was a hoax, it was created by a perfect master because it has, shows all the bone structure and the flesh um, maneuverability, the rolling ability as you walk. I just think it's exciting. We aren't afraid because it usually doesn't hurt people. And um, it's curious about people, but it hasn't hurt anybody, I don't think. So we aren't afraid, but we're just interested. We roamed the hills and climbed in the caves and the abandoned mine shafts today, and if he exists at all, Awful Al wasn't home or receiving guests. But we'll probably be back. Jack Etzel, Channel 11, you... Wait a minute. What color eyes does he have? <laughs> he did say that was the North Hills. Yeah, not where, not where you <laughs> are. I Actually, the monster's only three up. feet tall, just has very big feet, that's all. Oh, uh, please tell us more tomorrow, all right? Okay. Reviewing the top news of this hour, a flash flood watch is in effect for most of western Pennsylvania. The heavy rain is expected to continue off and on throughout the remainder of today. That's the noon edition of News Watch. Bob and I will be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, have a good day. You have just seen News Watch, the most complete, factual, and pictorial television news broadcast available. The next News Watch at 6 this evening. seems there's less and less time for your family to be a family. It's time to get together with a Hammond from Fulton. And now Fulton guarantees that anyone can play the Hammond Piper, a full-size fun machine. All extras included starting at only $9.95 complete. But you'll have to act now. There are only a few at this low price. Check the yellow pages for the Fulton Piano and Organ Store nearest you. Think of all the money you spend because you don't have room for a big automatic washer. You have room for a compact Hoover spin drying washer. It washes anywhere. Does a family size load? In about six minutes. It's nice to have a little Hoover. Hoover washers start at less than $180 right now at Service Radio and Electric, Carmen's TV and Appliance, and Casper's Appliance. 
Murphy Oil Soap, natural vegetable oils, the everything cleaner that cleans everything cleaner, cleans and preserves leather and vinyl. In Pittsburgh, this is Channel 11, the news station. On March 17th, a contestant may win at least $100,000 in NBC's $100,000 Shamrock Sweepstakes. That lucky winner could be one of today's contestants on Blank Check. These numbers remain for our players to use. They could mean a fortune for the check writer playing these challengers in this game of ESP, where the studio audience can also win fabulous prizes playing Blank Check. And now here's the star of Blank Check, Art James. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and welcome to Blank Check. We're six players. We have this two uh, very especially bright and entertaining group with us uh, this uh, past week. Compete for five full days attempting to write checks. And members of our studio audience will get a chance to win fabulous prizes, too. That's the way the game goes. You'll see how it works as we go along here. But I want to remind you, everybody, players, that this is NBC's $100,000 Shamrock Sweepstakes Week. The cash and dollar value of prizes won in the audience game earned each day by our leading money winner will be matched by NBC and added to NBC's $100,000 Shamrock Sweepstakes Jackpot. On Monday, March 17th, 1975, on Celebrity Sweepstakes, a contestant from every one of NBC's game shows will have the opportunity to compete for the chance to win at least $100,000. How about that? <laughs> Let's start things off here by saying hello to our current check writer, Betty Conti. Hi, Betty. Hi. Come on down here. <laughs> you look at this outfit here. I mean, we just give her a hole of hope, and there she is, off in business. <laughs> That's charming. Oh, thank you. you can resume your uh, position up here as check writer. She is our handicapper, but our uh, challengers are going to have to handicap you. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling wonderful. Okay. I'm ready to go. Well, see, she has a decision to make. She's filled in a check for $304. She has three numbers left, a 1, a 2, and a 7. She can play it safe and deposit the $304, or take a chance and try to use one of these numbers to fill in the full check. But Betty, if you fail in that fourth digit, you're going to lose your $304. Now, you've had a night to think it over. What are you going to do? You don't know much about horse players. Did you ever see one stop? <laughs> you're going to go? She's going for the full check. And we'll see how she does in just a moment.